Hi, my name is Kristina and today I'm here to help you to start using FMX150 and ECAN02 devices. Before installing the device, the first step is to check the vehicle installation guide. It's worth noting that each model will have a unique setup. You can find the installation guide in the VP Help Desk Frequent Ask Questions section or by reaching out our support team. To locate your device in the photo app, please enter its unique serial number or EMI code. Then select the device and press Create a task. Finally, choose Upload CAN configuration as the task type and select the make and model of the car. And the task is created. And that's it! We are ready to install! First, open the panel and prepare the installation space. According to the installation guide, the connection of the CAN lines for this vehicle is through the OBD socket. However, please keep in mind that the location of CAN lines may vary for different cars. Open ECAN02 casing and carefully remove the protective sticker from the double-sided tape. Follow the installation guide scheme and find the CAN high and CAN low wires. Attach the device to the CAN lines and make sure that the CAN low and CAN high wires are placed in the corresponding grooves on the device. Now you can close the casing Connect the ECAN wiring harness. It's time to set up the wires. The ECAN02 wires are blue and white with a blue stripe. The solid blue is CAN low and the white and blue striped wires is CAN high. Meanwhile, the FMB150 wires are brown and white with a brown stripe. The solid brown is CAN low and the white and brown colored wires is CAN high. To power up both devices, connect their power and ground wires to the vehicle. The power wires are colored red and the ground wires are black. Turn on the ignition to enable CAN data reading. Now you can connect the main tracker to the power. After installing the device, PhotoWeb configuration will be automatically downloaded during the next connection. Once the ECAN02 is mounted correctly and the ignition is turned on, the status LED will start blinking, indicating that CAN data is being received. Now you can check available CAN data in the Configurator tool. In this particular case, we can see OAM fuel level data, engine oil temperature, engine RPM and mileage, and over valuable CAN parameters. Finally, don't forget to mount the main tracker, with this GNSS antenna facing upward. After installing it, tidy up the installation area and secure any components. Now you are ready to go! Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe to Teltonica Telematics YouTube channel for future videos.